Why is next generation DNA sequencing vital to the clearing of chronic urinary tract infections? Welcome to another Microgen DX Minute. Studies have shown that 80% of chronic urinary tract infections are caused by biofilm infections, communities of microbes living together. Research since the 1970s has increasingly shown us that the tendency of bacteria is to develop into a biofilm state. Bacteria create biofilm formations on the surfaces on and inside the body, and biofilms become collaborative communities of different species of bacteria and fungi. It is possible for anaerobes, aerobes, and fungi to exist in the same biofilm. It's because of these special behaviors that a biofilm cannot be accurately identified with cultures. First, because the biofilm will not form in a culture dish the way it has inside the host body. Once the sample is taken, the species which make up the biofilm can revert to their planktonic forms of behavior. Those species, which may flourish in the environment of the dish, grow even if they were only minor players in the biofilm community. Others may be unable to grow even if they were the majority of the biofilm in the host infection. Moreover, because the biofilm can be made of different kinds of bacteria and fungi, it would take multiple kinds of cultures to identify them all, even if they could all be grown in the lab, which many species cannot. This explains why patients with UTI symptoms so often have culture tests come back negative, because biofilms simply cannot be grown in cultures. Molecular testing does not face these difficulties because it does not attempt to grow any of the microbes, but rather extracts the DNA from the sample. The two most commonly used tests for infectious disease are polymerase chain reaction, also known as PCR, and a more advanced DNA test, next generation DNA sequencing, known as NGS. PCR compares the DNA in a sample against a panel of microbial species which are believed to be common pathogens in that area of infection. These panels are limited to a predetermined list of species, which represent 1% or fewer of all known microbes. If you're only using PCR, you may be missing out on important diagnostic information. Microgen Diagnostics' two-part DNA test, PCR and NGS, compares the DNA in a sample against our curated database of over 30,000 microbial species to accurately identify all of the species in a sample. Furthermore, Microgen DX's diagnostic report lists each species by their relative percentage of the total. This provides a complete microbial picture to assist doctors in determining which species need to be targeted in order to clear the infection. We identify 10 common antibiotic resistance genes, which would change the efficacy of around 40 kinds of antibiotics. A sensitivity report takes those species which can grow in the lab and tests their response to the presence of antibiotics. But all this test can tell you is if the bacteria in the dish are sensitive to a select antibiotic. This test can't tell you if the bacteria has the genes for antibiotic resistance. After all, genes can be switched on or off. The gene may be present and active in the host when it's inactive in the dish. Or the gene for resistance may exist in a species which couldn't grow in the dish. We know that bacteria can share genes for antibiotic resistance with other species in a biofilm. What you need to know is all of the microbial species in the sample which species are dominant, and what antibiotic resistance genes are present. Having the complete picture allows you to provide targeted treatment. To learn more, visit microgendx.com. <laughs>